our CO2 drags are buddies. This is an 8 inch block because the design that I got here is going to be 8 inches long. Uh, you can do up to 12 inches, remember. I just have the 12 inches shorter, or the 8 inch shorter, so we're not wasting so much material. Okay. What's the first thing that we do when we're laying out our CO2 dragster? What do you think? What's a, what are we going to end up cutting first? Join the axles. The axles, very good. Okay, so look at your, at your block here. Figure out which way is going to be the best to your top because your, your hole's in the back here. And then we're going to make ourselves, just like I did here, a quarter inch up line. To, that we can put our axles anywhere along that. Okay, so in using the ruler, doesn't really matter where I start, just make sure it's a quarter of an inch. Put the two there. Oop, moved on me. Now we got a quarter inch line. Uh, how far apart do our axles need to be? At the minimum. They need to be three inches, right? Yes. Right? So if I if this is eight inches long and I just go an inch in from that side, an inch in from this side, it should be all good to go. Okay, so an inch in that way. Inch in this way. Notice I'm not starting at zero every time, because you can, it's however many spaces you got in there. Um, <clears throat> now I would draw where this hole is here. Okay, it's a three quarter inch diameter hole, okay, and it's right in the center of the block. So you can take your ruler, and do a quick what, uh, what's half of two and a half inches? 1.75 1 and 1 fourth okay so and the the diameter of the 3 quarter inch hole or the, the 3 quarter inch hole half of that is 3 eighths right so half of 3 eighths is, or half of 3 quarters is 3 eighths so if I just do 3 eighths on each side and I do that twice make sure it's in the middle And I can take my ruler and I go one and a half inches this way. Right about there. And use our straight edge. That should be where your hole is. Okay. You can take a look. Does it line up? Just looking at the edge here. If it's a little off, just make sure you note that when you're planning the things out. Uh, we can do that on the top as well. Okay, what's half of an inch and a half? Three fourths of an inch. And the three eighths on each side. I do that twice. And then I go inch and a half this way. And check to make sure that it's lined up. Looks pretty good. Look this way, lined up this way. I'd say we can put, draw in the rest of our profile from here. Okay, let's start with this side profile. Uh, all, I have three basic curves to get it done. I have this curve right here, making sure not to go into the back. I leave myself a quarter inch on, on each side there. I have, let's do this. This top curve is a little bit more important because the bottom cord curve will kind of meet to it. It's okay if you sketch a little bit, or maybe if you you really feel like going and grabbing like a French curve from Mr. or Miss Braunschweig, that's fine. So I make myself a little point there. And do the this inside curve here, so we got. I'd leave myself about an inch in there. Oh. 
Maybe I take this out a little bit. Yeah. Using a pencil would probably be a decent idea. It's kind of hard to show that on a camera, though. Uh, and and in, in class. Or if you're using pen, you could always sand that off a little bit. This little groove, or, yeah, groove, I guess, would be. I'm going to keep myself about a quarter of an inch. <laughs> into this little point, point here. When I cut on the bandsaw and the scroll saw, it'll be a lot simpler. So, and maybe I'd, I'll taper this in a little bit better. Okay? Got the side profile. Top profile. Uh, <clears throat> mark where your axles are going to be. So it's an inch in. Also, the way I planned it, like there's always there's going to be some knots. Okay, this is going to get cut off by a lot right here, so we don't have to worry about that so much. Um, so where that the axle is, I'll just go. I'll kind of cut these edges here, uh, and on the front, I'm just going to make. If I find myself the middle, <laughs> that three quarters an inch in. I'm gonna make myself a little triangle point there you can always use a um, what's it called the disc sander to kind of smooth that out a little bit finding this middle spindle here I would measure that out okay so if I want to make it a, a half an inch wide I just measure the middle just like here three quarters of an inch in and then a quarter inch on each side do that over here We're almost done. Got my center line. <coughs> then the sides of my thing. And then I'll kind of mirror over here. <coughs> to make this kind of even and Okay, so we'll see where we can get to cutting this up here. We can turn it. 